What's up all you daggum farmers? Welcome back to the Cow Farm Chronicles here in Farming Simulator 22. In today's episode, I'm making a big investment into the farm by buying several new fields and new equipment. But we can't rely on the cows to pay for everything, so to make the money I need, we're swathing and baling hay from all the grass lying around on the property. If you enjoy this video let me know by leaving a like and don't forget to subscribe all right there we go cool i just got all the straw bales picked up from our harvest in the last episode you guys saw that cool if you didn't oh well what's going on in this episode is we are going to be making a big push to be purchasing several new fields however those fields are not cheap i don't know which fields i'm going to be buying just yet i've got my i've got my eye on three in total if you know everything works out to plan just right two is the bare minimum that i'm going to be buying today but if i have enough money left over at the very end of this i'm going to be buying the third field so i just need to get this straw picked up we have a whole lot to do today guys i need to get this straw put away all right straw is stored in our bin there really quickly i need to feed the cows because these guys are running a little low on hay so i'm gonna hop back over into the john deere really quick after i get this kind of parked up out of the way oh geez don't hit my weather station there so if you guys remember a few episodes back i made i think 112 hay bales out of all this grass that we have lying around on our property i ended up selling half of those so i sold 56 of them and i kept 56 of them and I've just been feeding my cows off of that 56 that I saved. It's actually lasted me way longer than I thought it was going to. Which is great. But as we start ramp ramping up our milk production, I think we need to start feeding the cows the best food that we possibly can. Which is TMR. And I don't want to drive too far forward. Oh, okay. And TMR is pretty much just silage and hay mixed together. So I need to start making silage, which is why I have the big giant cornfield out over there. But, oh jeez, what am I doing? I also need a TMR mixer. I found a few online that are like stationary units. I'm going to just push this guy over there. And they're about $22,000, $25,000 each. So... We're really going to need a whole lot of money off of all of these hay bales, which I... We got a whole lot of grass still. And if we're planning on expanding the field that we just harvested into the new fields that we buy, we might as well get some money off of the... Like, the gray area, right? We don't want to just waste it. I'm going to finish feeding up each one of these cows here. I don't want to keep... Selling my milk. I want to let that build up for a little bit. So I'm trying to find other ways of making money in the downtime of our corn growing and while we don't have anything going on for the other field just yet. It's kind of weird. I'm excited to for my next planting season because I messed up my first one really bad. It's like just not knowing how much manure and slurry I was going to need. But I feel like we're for sure going to have enough. Look, we got 61,000 liters. Ugh, that's so gross. Of slurry sitting here waiting to be used on our field. You guys are at 81% health. Sweet. Here, just really quick, let's hop in the pickup truck. And I'll drive over to the fields that I'm... I got my eye on that I want to show you guys real quick. And with the current crop that's in them, I think they should be ready to harvest next month which would help us get a lot of our money back okay so first field is field number 17 right here and this currently has a uh, sorghum looks like in it yeah and it's owned by clifford powell so i'm gonna need to give mr powell a call see how much he's wanting for this field right here and then i noticed that this field over here was sorghum as well so I was wondering if I could if I could really make a big push and buy both of these fields, I would have a pretty big harvest come next month that I could, you know, hopefully make a good, pretty good chunk of money off of. As well as being able to expand these into one giant field along with my current field that I own, field number 15 down here. 
So just imagine, all of this... As far as the light touches, pretty much, is going to be <laughs> a big old straw-producing field growing oats, wheat, barley. And then eventually, this, all right here, is going to be one giant field as well, because I am going to buy field 21 as soon as I can. I have no much, I don't really know how much it costs. Speaking of that, I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so field 12, right here, is $36,000, which uh, is just a little bit more than I have right now. Field 14, which is the other sorghum field that we were looking at, is $18,000. So I have that, and I have enough to buy that right now. This field, number three, which is the original field that we wanted to go into, is, I think, potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. So, that might be the field that we hold off on, because I know harvesting potatoes is going to be a whole other thing in itself. We're going to need more tools. And, yeah, I just, I don't know if I'm prepared for that. I know I have the tools to get these two fields harvested. So these are the two for sure that I want to get. And then field number 11, which we're looking at right now, is $129,000 by itself. I'm probably going to let this one go for a long time. Not a long time, maybe a few more episodes. Let them get a crop in there, see if that crop is worth harvesting, and then buy that before it's harvested, or ready to harvest. But I think we really need to get to work, guys. I've got, I've got just the tool that is going to make this go by really, really fast. So I'm going to load up my uh, medium-sized New Holland, I think it's the T7, up on my, my, up on my flatbed. And I'll meet you guys down at the dealership with the new... It's not really new, It's we're just going to be borrowing it with the tools that we're going to be using to get our hay bales all made. How many bales do you think I'm going to be making? We made 112 last time. But we've got a lot, not a lot less farmland. Hmm. I think we might make 103. I guess 103. Okay, about $9,000 later, I have this sweet Case IH swather with this, um header that makes hay out of the grass. This thing is really awesome. Unfortunately, I don't think this thing's going to fit onto my flatbed. I'm going to line it up here, and I'm going to have one of these guys from the dealership kind of follow me over to my farm, and he'll catch a ride back over here. Oh, okay, looks like he's he's getting the hang of the swather there. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. You gotta follow me. Come on, this way. Oh, looks like he's a, it's a little too touchy for him. Come on, buddy. You got it. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe he doesn't got it. Okay, we got everything brought back over to the farm here after our little uh, fiasco of him learning how to drive the swather there. But I was asking him if he needs another job. Because I uh, could really use a helping hand... And it would cut the time down in half that I would be doing this if I had somebody following me in the baler, right? We're going to set him up right here, okay? Got lined up and nice and going. Then we're going to get in the swather. I think this thing goes about 11 miles an hour with the, the baler running and everything. So I'm going to set my cruise control down to 11 miles an hour, okay? Now, okay, your job is just to follow me in the baler, okay? Now that thing, you're gonna have to stop when it gets full. So I'll try to slow down and, you know, let you keep up and everything so I'm, you're not too far behind me. But here, I'll show you what it's gonna look like, okay? Alright, so you see that line of hay behind me? Your job is to follow me And pick up the hay. Alright? You with me? You with me? Okay, so let's see if you can do it. Alright, you following? Come on.
You're not following. Nah, this isn't for you? Okay, well, I understand. At least you came and tried it. I appreciate your time. Well, alright, looks like I gotta do this all by myself, so. Let me get, I'll go ahead and hop in the swather here. Oh well, guy just didn't want to do it. Said it wasn't for him. Made him a little nervous. It's all good. So, my biggest problem doing this is probably gonna be stumps. Oh, and the fact that I'm running over my corn. Yep. See, there's a stump right there. Okay. <laughs> Haven't gotten rid of those things yet, unfortunately. Those are kind of going to be in the way. It's all good. Alright, just like that, we're back to where we started. Oh man, it really put a thorn in my plan that I, uh, that guy didn't want to work for me, but it's all good. I was planning on doing this by myself anyway. Can't ask people to do more than they're willing. Cruising right along though, this really shouldn't take me too long. We'll have this knocked out and own those fields in, like, no time. And just like that, I'm finished. I know there's a lot more grass to be cut, but I've been sitting on this swather for like an hour, and I'm over it. I'm ready to get some bailing done. I'm kind of upset that this this guy said he wanted a job here, but uh, and turned around and flaked on me. <sighs> Let me get this little patch right here, I guess. Hey gum. Okay, there we go. Finally. Get you set right there. Turn you off. <laughs> oh man, this is going to take so long. All good though. I'll cut it into a nice little time lapse for you guys. Um, probably making the first five or ten bales. I don't know. Not really sure. Oh man, I hope I don't run out of fuel also because I'm... Below half a tank. I don't know. We'll see where we can go with this. Okay, so there's pretty much one full lap done, and if we look at the bale counter there, we've made nine bales now. Sweet. I have no idea how many I'm going to make since I'm sticking to the 180 centimeter eyes here. Um, at first, I wasn't sure how many... At first, I wasn't really sure if I was going to get to um, even close to 100 or not, but you never know. I have a whole lot of, whole lot of hay laying around here <laughs> that needs to be picked up. So once we get all of this bailed, we'll go around um, with the flatbed and the John Deere that has the front loader attachment and the bale spikes. And get all that loaded, and we're going to be selling this today. We're not going to be waiting around trying to get the best price. We need to get rid of this as soon as we can. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be keeping any of it because I still have a whole lot of hay left in my shed there. And the purchases we're going to be making are pretty big. So I'm going to need to get all of the money that I can that I can get. I'm just going to continue on with this. Probably catch up with you guys in just a little bit.
Okay, so we pretty much got a lot of the bailing done. All that over there is done. Over here this way is done. Pretty much just need to go get uh, in front of the solar panels. And take a quick guess right now how many bales we're at. Because we are sitting at 60 bales currently. At 180 centimeters each. That is quite a lot of hay that we've picked up so far. And I'm hoping it's quite a big chunk of money too. Because in total I think we're going to be spending like $90,000 if I'm able to get everything that I'm hoping for. Which is those all three fields. Plus the um, the feed mixer. Let me just get these last few rows right here. And then we'll just start loading these bales up onto the flatbed and getting them sold to whoever has the highest price. It's probably going to be the animal dealer. But if not, we're selling to whoever's paying the most. Oh man, we're at 99%. Okay, so I think I still have some down over here by the cows in front of them. Alright, and there we go. I think that's probably going to be our final bale. So we're at 62 total. I don't think... Oh jeez, well, it's not going to help if I don't pick it up. I don't think this sitting here is going to be enough for a bale. Maybe unless I change the bale size. Can I do that real quick? Let's see if it works. I think I might have changed the bale size a little too late and it's still gonna make a 180 centimeter bale. But, I mean, already at 60, 70%. Okay, cool. So I am gonna have enough for one more bale, looks like. Can I go this way with it? Here we go. Alright, and so now that I've changed the bill size, maybe it'll give me one more off of this tiny amount right here. Okay, 92%. Let's see if I get enough. <laughs> 93. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. 99. Okay, cool, 100%. There we go. Just a little tiny 125, me 125 centimeter bill, but getting that out. It's better than nothing, so let's go ahead and kind of pick all this up right here. We're not going to be able to unload it, but that's okay. Don't want it laying around. We'll just ship it back over to the dealership with the baler. The baling is officially done. Go ahead and go drop this off. Over here, no, yeah, it's at the front. It's fine. And then I'm gonna leave this right here. Turn the tractor off. I'm just gonna hop in the flatbed. And I guess we'll just kind of work our way backwards with all of the bales because the John Deere is way over in that far shed. So instead of just driving back and forth a bunch of times, I'll just go over to where John Deere is, start from there, and we'll get loaded. I'll probably be able to get maybe 20 bales. On each trailer full. So let's go ahead and see how well we can load these things. <laughs> I think right here is probably a good spot, good central location. Get the truck shut off, and then the tractor should be somewhere right in here. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I guess I drove right by the tractor. <laughs> All good. But yeah, here, I'll just start with... Start with this bale right here. Is it wide enough to get both forks in? Can I do that? Is that a thing? Awesome! There we go. Then what happens if I just, like, push this one? Can I do that? Perfect. Okay, so we're going to be loading these eyes to the sky, which means the, f the flat part is facing up, looking up to the sky. So that's probably going to be the best way to load them up here. 
I maybe should have gone with 150 centimeter bills because these are pretty big and I can only get one <laughs> each time I pick it up. So let me get this trailer loaded up. Might take me a little bit and then we'll get going down to the animal dealer. All right, there we go. One full trailer load. We got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So not quite the twenty I was hoping for, but uh, these are for sure going to be giving us a lot of money. Oops, I forgot to turn the John Deere off. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's go ahead and check and see who's going to be giving us the most money. All right, so Animal Dealers paying about one hundred and sixty dollars per thousand liters. So let's run down to the Animal Dealer real quick and see how much we can get for one load of. These big old hay bales here. Hopefully it's a lot. I have a plan on spending a whole lot of money. Alright, make sure we don't tip over here or lose any of our hay bales. That'd be really bad. Don't need any, any of the straps breaking. Let's go ahead and pull in here. See if they'll take them. There we go. Oh, we're getting a good amount of money here, folks. Okay. So that was about... That's probably about $20,000 per load. Huh. Hopefully that's enough. I might be... Mm, I might have... Okay, if I had 63 bales... That'll be 3 loads... $60,000... Plus another... 3 bales... Huh. Okay, we might be... We might have just enough? I don't know. Let's go ahead and get all these other bales loaded up and sold. And let's see how much we end our, end our day with here. Wait, I don't know what I was thinking just now a few seconds ago. I'm not... I was... I don't know why I had it in my brain. I was getting 20 bales per load. I'm only getting 14. Wait, we're going to have like four or five loads at $20,000 a piece. So we are probably going to be making over $100,000. Oh, that's exciting. Sweet. Okay, so this is going to be the fifth and final trip down to the animal dealer. And if you look up in the top right there, we're sitting at $104,000. This would probably put us about 115, 116, somewhere in there. As soon as we get this turned in, we're going to come right back to the farm and start spending all that money. All right, let's go ahead and pull in here. Get this last little bit of it sold. There we go. $115,000. Right on the money there. I'm, pretty, I'm getting pretty good at this guessing stuff. Okay, so now the very next thing on our list, and actually the, the last thing we want to accomplish in this episode, is to, one, go spend all of this money, pretty much. Um, and we're going to be doing that by buying... I think we'll have enough for three new fields. But first things first, we are going to go buy a new feed mixer. So that when the time comes and we have a whole bunch of silage, we are going to be making some really, really high quality TMR for our cows so that they are making some high quality milk for us as well, which we then sell at a higher price because it's high quality. And I'm thinking I want it in a real nice central location, probably like right here in this open area where it's easily accessible for both cow barns. Let's go ahead and hop up into the sky real quick. Food mixer, there we go. We want this guy right here. Um, if we can put it right about there, would probably be our best bet. Yeah, I'm thinking right about here. That way we can just drive up to it with our trailer. Empty it, fill it up, and go feed our cows. I think that's perfect right there. Ta-da! Okay, so that's $22,000 right out of the hole. And now, we'll spend a bunch more money on fields. So I don't necessarily want to buy this field just because it has potatoes in it. And I know that's going to be some kind of crazy undertaking to do. Need new equipment, all that kind of stuff. But these fields right over here are sorghum. So we already have a combine 
harvester that can do this for us and we got a trailer so i think it's gonna be wise to go ahead and buy those plots of land real quick okay so num plot number 12 is thirty six thousand dollars go ahead and buy that yes then we're gonna buy number 14 as well which is gonna be eighteen thousand dollars yes okay all right do we have enough for field number three and we have enough by barely four thousand dollars oh my god <sighs> okay so let's go ahead and buy it bam all right sweet look at that guys so now if we go get our drone out real quick we now own one two three four and five way over there five big giant fields that are going to be producing us money making food for our cows and thankfully are actually going to be making us a pretty good chunk of money back in the next episode so i need to go get this swather and this baler return before i get charged any more money because my bank account is looking pretty low there guys but i think with that one we got everything we wanted to do accomplished we got our new feed mixer which is going to be huge huge improvement to what we're feeding our cows we got some new fields which are going to be making us crazy amounts of money we're expanding the farm i wish we had some money to go buy some cows because that's usually what we like to do when we end episodes but i think spending over a hundred thousand dollars that we just made from hay is a pretty good way to end it so with that guys i really appreciate y'all watching i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.